Hello, you lovely bunch. And on the back of last week's game to Baldwin Sports, we are now facing Baldwin Sports Reserves away from home back in the league. So like I say, there's no need to fix what isn't broken. We've stuck with a 3-5-2. We've gone for Duke and the postman up top with Neil sitting behind. Cam Gibbs, Warney and Uber across the middle. Big grassy, Jim, Owen and Skip Burrow, Mick and Goal. It's a little bit of squeaky bum time in the league at the minute. Everyone's around everyone. Anybody can catch anybody. So Beckham here just looking to get the three points, to be honest. As far as I'm aware, Baldwin Reserves actually are having a really strong start to the season. Um, if I'm right in saying, I believe they only lost one or two prior to going into this game. Um, let's see what Peckham Wright can do. Duke and rounds the keeper beautifully done. You'd put your mortgage on him scoring that, but uh, side netting. It's unlucky. Proceeding goal kick then does come long. It's a bit of pinball football, to be honest. It's back and forth in the middle here, but then Danny Gibson picks it up, looks for his trademark long ball over the top. Juki in behind brings it down superbly. He's looking for the shot. Great save. However, I scrapped to the death. Warney, hero. It's a bit of banter between the lads, but in your opinion, leave it in the comments. Who's going to score more goals, Danny Warner or Danny Gibson? So this number 11 on the ball now is young, quick and skillful. Pulls the string throughout the game. Danny Warren showing what it does on a Saturday night. Ball goes over the top. It's a bit of a scrap, to be honest, but they do manage to come away with it better off. Down the wing. He's bombing it down. He always then played down the line. He's looking to get the cross into the area, but picking one, I do manage to get the block off. They come away fortunate. Owen puts the ball out into the postman, who's only got eyes for Cam. He looks to play it in behind. Um, it's unfortunate he's slightly overheating. Cam can't get there, but good movement. Goalkeeper then looking to be quick with a release. Plays out to number 11 all the time in the world. Looking to spread across the park. Well, a bit out of character. He doesn't misplace the pass into the line of the postman. Looks to play a 1 2 with Juki, who's in the gates. It turns him nicely. I don't know how he can dispute this so far. Free kick Peckham. Peckham in a promising position with a free kick. Danny Gibson, great little dinking at the back stick. Dino with a great header. Unfortunately, the referee seems to have given offside and <laughs> it's kicked into our own player anyway. Peckham just trying to get their foot on the ball, keep it at 1 0. The ball's in nodded down. It's a great little bit, intricate bit of 1 2 3 triangle football play in there. And uh, Peckham bombing it down the wing. Unfortunately, it does get away from him. Yeah, he's got great pressure, wins it back, but definitely gives a fan. So that's a long throw from Baldwin. It's then picked up at the edge of the area, and they want to put the delivery straight back into part of the pressure on early. Um, it's cleared then by Peckham, and I'll tell you what, it's actually got a resemblance to the 2013 playoff semi final, Watford play Leicester. Uh, Leicester missed the 97th minute penalty, and then Watford went up the other end and scored because Peckham were at lethal on a counter attack. Very pacey players, and we play a lot of attacking players with this formation as well. Craig, unfortunately, there not to get the ball, but he's picked up then. Juki then does well to skin the man, puts it across goal, and that's 2 0 Peckham. Made amends for that miss earlier. Baldwin being very composed amongst the back four. I guess you could say they're almost too composed. This geezer should have gone spectators and missed his checkup. Danny Warren picked up the ball. He's very unfortunate to be fair, but he, he keeps going, trying to win it back. Passes then made into their attacking player, who does do well to be fair to go past two. Skips Dean, cynical foul, but sometimes you've got to give him. Realistically, he's never going to shoot from there, you know, just mark a man each and uh, I guess you didn't have to for that one, straight to Mick. When the ball comes long, he's unfortunate not to find himself in behind to Craig. The header is M1 to be cleared, but Peckham might pick it up, a couple of intricate passes. Thinks it a little back to Danny to Danny. Just keeping the ball, that's all you need to do when you're 2 up to keep the ball. Big grassy, absolutely playing via emotions there, but it does go out for a Peckham throw in. Lino gives the ball back to Craig, but he's not going to thank him because he's got a top knot. So he got a mention in his paper for his quick throw-ins, but uh, this one weren't so quick. When you're 2-0 up, it doesn't need to be, but he picks it up anyway. Looking to play it down the line, and um, it is then put in the, in the back of Craig, to be fair. He does well to hold it up. They call in a postman for a reason, because the delivery's like this. He puts it in, that's superb. It's just unfortunately not met by anyone. Rather than play it backwards, Juki looks for the back heel into the area. It's unfortunately not red, um, but at the minute, it is all Peckham. Juki is a superb hold-up player out on the left. He's getting a lot of shouts, but he, no one's making a movement for him. Um, so he's doing really well to keep the ball, to be honest. He then goes back towards his own goal, and that's a great little pass to Danny Warren. <laughs> Rolling back the ears, ruins the geezer, plays it into Danny Gibson, who looks to feed the ball into the middle. It's unfortunate there. 
like I say, it's all Peckham. Corners are becoming a vital part of Peckham last season. The delivery's put into the box and ball being They do get it clear, to be fair to him. Peckham not looking to sit back and take it, and unfortunately, he's going to put out for a throw in. So, Craig with a throw in. He sees that Danny Warren's open in the middle, throws it in. He's got one thing on his mind as the dig. Danny Warren! Oh, he's unfortunate. His scoring ability is probably the most versatile on the team. I mean, I've seen him bang him in from the yard out and 40 yards out, so. Doing it being one of the most dangerous leads you can have in football, of course. Peckham really not looking to let that slip. The call was there, you know, lumps it long, but it's the same from them as well. They're just, it's just up in the air, it's like football tennis, to be honest. You know, no one can get their foot on it. It wasn't a little bit too long. Gets himself too much time and space, plays it into Danny Warren, and uh, it gets it away from him. And <laughs> Postman and living up to his name once again, putting a fantastic ball into the area. Just doesn't fall to us, to be honest. It's not, it's not our fault, but it's coming. Ball in here looking very dangerous on the counter. Like I said, they've got young, quick, agile players, both in midfield and attack. So they play it over, across to the middle, it gets away from them, but the altercation picks it up to their striker, who's a little dink, and then you know, takes him out, unfortunately. Fortunate enough not to get booked, however, you don't want to be giving away free kicks there. Is it going to be a bend it like Balden, or... Is it not? It certainly is. Unfortunate there. 2-1. That was a great attempt at saving it from Danny Gibson with his arm. However, he is box to box. He picks it up in the Oppo's box this time. Great finish. That's 3-1 Peckham. Despite his major contributions on and off the pitch, that's his first goal, as you can see what it means to him in his celebration. Seems to be one-way traffic at this minute. Danny Warren puts in a spectacular ball at the top to the post. And we, uh, it's unfortunate with a dink, but it's all us. Borden looking to keep the ball. Can't get out of our own half, though, to be honest. Peckham, great interception. Craigie pops it off to Neil, who turns and faces, looks at Danny, plays it back off to him, and absolutely pummels it into the geezer's face. It's a great kick from Mick. The postman then delivering again with a knock-on. Unfortunately, it's not picked up by Juki there, and it's cleared up our line. When in possession, ball are not very tricky and skillful. Very quick with the ball, yeah, trying to get it moving. <laughs> um, this touch gets away from him, and it's not Sunday league without Danny Warren. I mean, the first one, no. The second one, yeah, foul. Free kick, Baldwin. We know what they can do. I mean, this one, without Danny Gibson punching it in, he's not very lethal, to be honest. But that will be half time. Some stern words at half-time. I mean, despite being 3-1 up, they are in the driver's seat. Need to take control of it. There should be a few more up, but it's a dangerous lead. Can't let it slip. Come right to kick off this half. The bobble on that ball shows the sheer state that this pitch was in. Peckham are doing very well to manage the game. Long ball was unfortunately not the bad Peckham heads. But when played that back out to their left back, Keenan does well to pounce. He's come on at half time. His fresh legs puts a, it's a shot actually. Just drag wide. And Mick with the ball in possession. Looking to take his time a little bit as instructed. Plays the ball and just keeps it as long as he can. It bounces over everyone to be honest. And they defend by Tessa Keeper. Great reflexes. Duke out on the left. Oh, doing what he does best. Does well to find Neil. Who is unfortunately dispossessed. Ricky then chasing down the loose ball. Does get pushed in the back. When the geezer comes in, Danny absolutely clatters him. That's a Gibson special, that one. So the ball finds his way over to Ricky. Clever drop of the shoulder. Sells the geezer a chicken select meal with no sauce. Plays it over the top. Juki doing what he does best. Latching onto that ball. Picks it up. He's got an eye for goal. He's going to cut inside. He's got the shouts on. But he do not really have a pass on. Look, you look in the area. There's no one there. But um, unfortunate there. Restart from the keeper there. Well, may have had a fantastic game. Gibson and great header into Ricky. Unfortunately, can't get there. They lump it long. Dean composes ever. Just dings it over to Owen. Who on his weaker foot, may I add, as well. Does manage to get it cleared. Down the line. The ball is then pressured by Ricky. Who may have come on at half time and is looking geared up for this game already. When the ball and player plays it back to the keeper, Ricky in the interception. That's great from him. Plays it across to the centre. They can't quite get a good clearance on it. Juki picks it up. Looking for the bottom corner. And unfortunately, prime John Terry there gets it. As ever, it is football. Anything can happen. So, ball are not rolling over and taking this pummel in. They're going to keep trying to come at us. They're playing it down the left side here. Foul from T there, unfortunate. When Baldwin take their free kick, it is met by none other than the head of Owen. Who, if I may add, is having a good couple of games recently. 
like the Sunday League, just lumping it in the area. I think Dean makes it well there. Mick claims it. Keepers all day long. Keepers on it today. Keeper then pumps it long. It's met by another than a ball player, of course, but it's very scrappy on the floor. Misplays pass. Keenan picks it up, plays it into the postman. It's an outside the boot. Little delivery in there, and Duke's unfortunate not to get there. Goalkeeper really taking advantage of what his allocated seconds are. I think he's just waiting for him to, to shake up to be honest. Plays the ball long. And like I said, all fired up, geared up. Rick beats it. Great enough. It's a great bit of shielding from T there. It was another substitute that come under the look lively. Ball over the top by Danny Ball. Juki. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need words. That is honestly a superb thing. And the fans have turned up just to see how football should be played. Come right, four one up. It can almost feel like they're home and dry, but it's not done yet. You know, it's not done. They need to keep going. Uh, it's unfortunate that they're bored and picked it up. They do then look to play the run down the wing, but they're dispossessed by Keenan. I don't really know if he knows what he's doing here, but uh, he comes away with it anyway. He'll improvise one, two with T there, yeah, gets away with it. Comes inside, looks for his weaker foot, switching the ball, and um, he's a ball and ball there, unfortunately. Wouldn't do well to get that clear, to be fair to him. Jim then leaps over the gears and puts it in. Danny Vaughan, deja vu, fits over his head, long ball over the top. Ricky then chasing onto it, like I say, all fired up. He does get dispossessed, but it's good pressure. City to even try that. Rick, fair play, mate. Great effort. Come off the bench. That's how you change a game. As I remember back to the start of the season, he did score, as he quoted, a 35 yard screamer. So that's it. That's Rick. He only scores bangers. <laughs> Keenan, having collected the ball in the middle, looks to play it over. It's unfortunate. Played out to nil. It is a foul, but uh, he's pulled back. It's 5-1. Just let the post have a dig. Why not? You know, he has that shot. Deflects off the wall, unfortunately. Then that bounce to Rick. Leaps like a salmon. He's unfortunate there. Really, that's, that's the Rick we know. Really. Either way, I've got it now. Ball's in clear by Peckham. A great bit of team pressing here to make Baldwin play back towards their own goal. Um, Juki there. It's, you know, it's an unsung bit of the game. He's pressing down the keeper there. It's a great little clearance. So Danny lumps it long. It bounces and Craig does superbly well to get on the other side of him. Sees a keeper off his line and between the bloody chicken selects that Ricky sold him earlier and that chip, they got four mil going on. And that is 6 1 Peckham. Sorting our goal difference out here, lads. Great bit of strength here to hold off the ball and attacker. Plays it. Craig, he's pressing him down. He's forced an error, so they have to pass it into the path of Duke. He's got one thing on his mind. He's going to go for a goal. Well, run at least towards the goal. He's got Craig and Ricky arriving late. He's going to put the cross in. It deflects. Oh, is it very unfortunate for them? Force the Craig yard out. He's not going to miss from there, is he? And that's 7 1 at Beckham. You know what? Fair play to Baldwin. It must be very hard to play in a game like that. And they, they kept their heads going. And they played to the 90th minute. Right in the dying embers of the game, not looking to take their foot off the gas. Superb tackle from Danny Gibson there. Falls into the path of Keenan, who, who tries to get it clear. And uh, it's unfortunate that Paul didn't do it and get an interception. Always then lumped up into the air. It's met by none other than the head of Anthony Hughes. Playing with a knock this week, so thank you. Fair play to that. It's then, uh, they do pick it up. He's got one eye. He's, he's a lump it long, you know. When you're 7 1 down, what else are you going to do? Straight up in the air. 11 picks it up on the edge of the box. He's got all sorts of things in his locker. Goes to have the shot, it deflects. That's it. Momentum's gone out of that attack. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. Baldwin and striking. It's, it's gone wide. That will be the full time whistle. Peckham Rare 7, Baldwin Sport Reserve 1. We'd like to thank them for hosting us. You know, playing to the 90th minute. It's not nice. It, when you're playing in that, it can't be nice. So fair play. Keep your heads up. And uh, good luck for the season, boys. But on another note to you, beautiful bunch, I would like you to please like, subscribe, and comment. Smash that thumbs up button. And I'll see you next week. 7-1 seven, seven, win today. Overhead kick from the little man. Talk us through the goal. Um... I was waiting for the flick on from Craig and he delivered just there on a plate. Someone sat up for me nice. Rose like a salmon. How do you think them little legs can get that high? They can. That's got to be a contender for goal of the season. I hope so. I hope so. I think Duke's, Duke's got a couple of good ones as well. But.
I think it's up there. It's up Off there the bench, half times are scoring over a kick in a 7 1 win. Someone could say you changed the game, really. I'd like to think so. Yeah. I'd like to think so, Dan, but it was a team effort. In your opinion, man in the match today? Uh, I'd give it to Duke. Duke played brilliant.